What's up, everybody? It's your boy MC Murr here, and welcome back to the show. And it's time once again for another fantabulous game review. And that's right, we're looking at another game coming our way from our friends at NIS America. And I want to thank NIS America for giving me a shot at reviewing this game. Or should I say games? That's right, we're looking at another two-pack, another twofer. And I'm excited about this one. You heard me talking about on previous episodes, I had four highly anticipated game releases for this year. Well, this is one of them, all right? Because one of the two games on this pack is none other than Phantom Brave, a game that I played on Nintendo Wii, a very uncommon RPG. You might as well call it rare. I'm sure it's gonna be the first rodeo for a lot of you folks on both of these games. It's very important that we take a look at these. Soul Nomad being the other game, I'm not familiar with that one at all, but you know, we're talking about tactics RPGs. We're talking about stuff that's right up my alley. It's gonna be right up the alley of a lot of you that watch this show too, so I'm very excited to take a look at these. Before we get started, I hope you're gonna drop a like on this video. And if you haven't already done so, if this is your first time here, subscribe to the MC Mer Show. Be a part of what we got going on here. Without further ado, let's get started. We're talking about Prinny Presents NIS Classics Volume 1. Phantom Brave, and Soul Nomad. Let's get into it now. Okay, so yeah, I've been waiting for this one. Phantom Brave Remastered on Switch is a beautiful thing because the versions a few gens back are somewhat uncommon and content was added to ports throughout its existence, so we're getting a full-on definitive way to experience a game I'll bet a lot of gamers missed out on. I lucked up on a copy for the Wii years ago at GameStop, but I'll tell you, I've never seen another copy lying around. And while I familiarized myself with the game, I never finished it, so I can look forward to a portable way to do that now. Phantom Brave is a tactics RPG that really throws multiple Hail Marys on unique aspects. There's a lot to get acclimated to. You play as Morona a spirited girl with the ability to communicate with and control phantoms, and Ash, her guardian, who has become a phantom, narrowly escaping death. Morona must summon phantoms into each battle, whom you might have guessed are your teammates and units in combat. But where it gets wacky is she must summon them into on-screen objects like plants, rocks, and trees. And depending on which object a phantom is spawned into, his or her stats will be altered accordingly. For example, a rock might yield more defense, but less speed. And after a number of turns in battle, the phantom will turn back into the object. So many layers required in your battle plans. Again, if you're looking for a unique tactics RPG, this one does a hard check on that box with a new Sharpie marker. The combat is somewhat three-dimensional with units being able to climb on one another and on and around aspects of the landscape providing cover and protection. Items on the battlefield can be lifted and used as weapons, each having its own menu of attack options with ranges. So lots of ways your battles can play out. Your base set of phantoms double as your home base in that one is a healer, one is a merchant, and so on and so forth. The availability of weaponry seems to improve the more you buy. Of course, the price scales right along with it. Each class has different proficiencies, and all weapons have their own set of attack types. Weapons can also be found out on the battlefield. Through Morona, you can create new phantoms available in multiple classes, which can be immediately buffed for a price. Bonus points are allocated at the tail end of creation. The game definitely echoes some similarities to Disgaea here. More classes become available as you encounter enemies with new class types and defeat them, which of course unlocks more possibilities for you in rounding out your party. For example, the Fusionist allows for the fusing together of characters or items to make more potent creations like a fighter with added magic abilities. Definitely suggests the existence of endless possibilities here and of course the need for multiple playthroughs. The soundtrack is inventive, featuring even some jazzy flute in there. It's a cool mix. I, I really do like the music in this game. 
The combat screen navigation does feel clunky and clumsy in places and at times, especially when characters and enemies get piled up at close quarters. It gets tough, but you will get better at having a sense of what the controls want from you. All in all, Phantom Brave is a creative take on a tactics RPG and definitely should not be missed by enthusiasts of the genre. Am I moving too fast for you? Well, I'm sorry, but you got to remember, you're getting two games here. On to the next one. Now, this game is amazing, but I've never heard of it before. Soul Nomad is a rare PS2 title, apparently? I don't know. Never seen it anywhere. And this is an example of when ports and reboots make sense. When a game is not owned by everyone in their neighbor. You know, this, this is a rare one. I guarantee this will be plenty of y'all's first rodeo with this thing. We have a grid system back in place, but more of a D&D &D map style than an actual multi-level 3D terrain like we commonly see in tactics RPGs. Interesting. It does make for more fluid control. We have fun characters who will draw you in with serious situations but plenty of rude humor and foul language. Much like Phantom Brave, there are some definite Disgaea undertones here, which is not a bad thing. Besides your protagonists and NPCs, you control units that you create called mannequins. Name them, pick a class, buff them, you know the drill. And here again, more options are unlocked and available to you as you defeat new enemies and progress the story. Your fighters are arranged in squads in what are referred to as rooms. You start with only one, but can purchase additional rooms. Each room has a unique formation, which can be re-rolled if desired, but it plays into the strategy in that it may influence your decisions on which mannequins to create for your forward, mid, and rear positions available. Your different squads can be summoned to the combat map once battle ensues. This is optional, and of course, there are costs for summoning, but this is your battle strategy as a whole in action here. When the leader of a squad is knocked out, that does it for the unit until next time. So while there's plenty of focus on development of each mannequin, they have to function well as a unit in order to stay in play. Again, just unique dynamics all around in these games. In the arrangements section, you have the option to venture into a generated dungeon within your rooms, similar to how and why you enter the item worlds in Disgaea. You level up the room as you advance through the combat stages, as well as leveling up your units and earning money for more upgrades. This gets challenging real quick early on, but I absolutely love this part of the game. The combat is dialed in, and it's a system that g -haws with me, you know, it's enjoyable. The grind makes up so much of these games, so this may be the single most important box to check on a tactics RPG. The story seems decent so far, but it's the systems in place winning me over on this one. With so many ways the combat can formulate and play out, I definitely predict multiple playthroughs on this one. Prinny Presents NIS Classics Volume 1 is available right now for your Nintendo Switch in a deluxe edition at no extra cost to you, featuring a physical soundtrack on disc and a soft cover art book all packed into a collector's big box for the fantastic price of $59.99. One box, two great games, enthusiasts of the tactics RPG genre will not want to miss out on this. Man, there you have it. Uh, we're talking about a lot of role-playing in one fantastic package. And again, as is the tradition, you've got a big box version out there to grab. Physical, I mean, so many great ways that these games can be played. We've looked at it here in the gameplay, all the possibilities, all the replay value, everything you know that you get with games like this. Truly unique games in a genre that you know I absolutely love. And again, I want to thank NIS America for getting me a review copy of this game, giving us a chance to take a look at it right here on the show, because again, this is what I'm into. And I know a lot of you that watch this show are into these types of games as well. I'm excited to see what happens 
in the series as we go. This was volume one. What other great games could we see rebooted on a volume two? Again, these are the kind of games that need reboots, re-releases, remakes, whatever you want to call them. If they're games that just weren't very common, there's a lot of folks that didn't get a chance to play these yet. So, you know, yeah, there, there is a lot of call for this. I'm glad it's here. Yeah, it's 60 bucks. It's a full price release, but you're getting two great games. You're getting hundreds of hours of role playing action in this fantastic package. But what do you think about everything that you saw here? You know, I want to get a conversation going with you right here on the MC Merch Show, so I need you to leave me something in the comment section of this video and let's get that conversation started. Something that we do a lot of. Again, I hope you like this video. Hope you're going to drop a like on this video. Go ahead, drop a like. And if you have not already done so i hope that you're going to subscribe to the mc merch show and be a part of our nation because we're rising up all the fantastic things we do right here on the show you need to be a part of it make sure that you smack that notification bell so you're always the person to know when new content goes live content like this review right here and again you know i've got other anticipated releases coming this year that we haven't talked about yet there's still so much more coming your way that we've got to discuss can't wait to get to every last bit of that mc mer signing off for this fantabulous review, and I will see each and every one of you again next time.